9.5 meters below space and tie this crash to this. So how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector equation. Hello, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is the first video in a series of new videos that I'm going to make where I'm going to use physics to analyze video games. And we're going to start by figuring out how tall an Angry Bird is by analyzing this. So what I'm doing here is in fast forward, what you see in the video is I am checking the bird's position for every frame in the video and as i do that it's going to be plotting those positions on a graph and on a table both a horizontal or x position and a vertical or y position also you'll notice that i purposely don't hit anything with the angry bird and the reason for that is i don't want any additional forces acting on the bird other than gravity Okay, so now that we've plotted all of our points for our bomb angry bird here, showing um, his location for every frame of the video, we have some data. Now the data is plotted both as a table and as a graph. Notice there's two graphs. All the red points indicate where the bomb is horizontally, and all the blue points indicate where the bomb is vertically. Notice all the red points um, are perfectly linear. So this is the horizontal velocity of the Angry Bird. Because this is perfectly linear, it says it's not slowing down horizontally. So we can easily say there's no air resistance um, in this Angry Bird world. world right? um, next, what we're going to do to figure out the size of these actual Angry Birds, we need to um, figure out the height from this origin here to the maximum height. And we need to figure it out in meters because so far this has only told us everything in pixels, right? You can see, for example, uh, the maximum height occurs right here at time 4.28 seconds. And it is a height of 98 pixels from where I've said the origin is, right? So this, you can consider this yellow line our Y and X axis. So it's 98 pixels above that origin. So to figure out what that is in meters, we're going to assume the Angry Birds are on Earth, and therefore the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. So let's look at what we know here. We know that the acceleration in Y is going to be 9.81 meters per second squared. I'm going to give it a negative because it's going to be down, because since gravity is down. We know the time. Now the time is indicated at that maximum height is 4.28 seconds, but we started the clock at a time in the video of uh, 3.04 seconds. So I'm going to find the difference in those times to figure out the time from when the Angry Bird was launched to when it reached its maximum height. And that time is going to be 1.24 seconds. We also know its vertical velocity at the peak is zero because that's when its vertical direction changes. So let's write our final velocity in Y will be zero. So to figure out that displacement or our maximum height in Y from where we started from to that peak, we're going to use this equation, which is final velocity times time minus a half times our acceleration times time squared. Well, final velocity is zero. So this just leaves us with minus one half times acceleration, which is minus 9.81 meters per second squared times time, which is 1.24 seconds squared. And that's going to give us 7.54 meters. So the Angry Bird traveled um, a height of 7.54 meters. So now what we're going to do, let's go back over here. I'm going to set a scale, meaning I'm going to take that maximum height, drag it back down to our x-axis, 
and say that height there is 7.54 meters. And when you do that, you see everything changes. So here I have a linear fit for its horizontal velocity. And now it's telling us its horizontal velocity at the peak, which is actually everywhere as well, is 17.38 meters per second. Now, because its vert vertical velocity at the peak is zero, its total velocity at the peak is 17.38 meters per second. Changing that into kilometers per hour, that's about 62 and a half kilometers per hour. And since that's when its vertical velocity is zero, that's the slowest that it's moving. That's pretty fast. Those angry birds are pretty fast. But what's more shocking is now that we have um, a scale here in meters, and we can see the scale is pretty accurate because our curve quadratic fit to our vertical motion has an A coefficient of minus 4.864, rounded to minus 4.9. Now that a coefficient should equal exactly half of gravity, which would be minus 4.9. And rounding it, it's perfect, minus 4.86 or minus 4.9. So we have a very good um, approximation for a scale here. And now I can go here and I can set photo distance and I can just click and figure out the height. 1.366 meters or about just under 1.4 meters. So this bomb angry bird is just under 1.4 meters. That's a huge angry bird. We can do the same thing for that smallest angry bird over there. Um, right there. And just under one meter. The smallest angry bird is just under one meter. We can also check the height of their slingshot. And they have a slingshot that is four point just under 4.2 meters tall these scales are massive right, so i hope you enjoyed the analysis of our physics here uh, if there's any other games you want me to analyze uh, let me know in the comments and i'll try to make more of these videos